Let's turn to our Kansas City Chiefs and Chiefs fans getting excited to see their team in action. Finally, after a long offseason, our sports director Mick Schaefer at training camp right now. Mick, a lot of players arrived in style today. They did, and here's the thing about arriving in style each and every year. You always have to one-up yourself. So after arriving a couple years ago in a mohawk, after arriving last year in like an American flag singlet, Anthony Sherman outdid himself, taking it to the next level today because he arrived in, yes, a NASCAR, a bona fide real NASCAR. Clint Boyer's number 14 NASCAR, complete with a custom helmet, a sleeveless fire suit, everything. Said he started planning this at the Kansas Speedway race back in, May, back in May. But Sherman's not the only one that gets to have fun. Oh, no. So Dustin Colquitt, Harrison Butker, and James Winchester also arrived in a very, very big military vehicle. What's up with the special teamers? I don't know. Expect the grand entrances to continue. Just where is always a question, though. Chiefs have the option of St. Joe, their own facility, or somewhere else in the future. There are opportunities out there that we haven't even uncovered yet. So it's a little premature to say we're going one way or the other. We're here in St. Joe. We're going to have a great camp in St. Joe. We're excited about okay, yeah. Uh, so the Chiefs' contract with Missouri Western State University expires after this year. So does their 10-year agreement to hold training camp inside the state of Missouri. Mark Donovan said all options are on the table, but it's very, very early in the process. Live in St. Joe, I'm Mick Schaefer, 41 Action News.